remember the recriminations and finger pointing of 9/11 were really starting to happen. Um, everybody rightly was focused on how to prevent another attack, and uh, and the CIA didn't want to say no to New York, and uh, they dispatched a, a senior officer um, to New York to basically be. Um, the NYPD's uh, private liaison uh, with the CIA. Um, that opened the door to a relationship in which the CIA officer who was working there um, helped set up a lot of these programs, uh, helped set up programs to um, be the eyes and e to have eyes and ears inside every Muslim community in the city. Uh, you know, um, the demographics unit, which is, uh, you know, these rakers, as you referred to, uh, informants known as moss crawlers, a lot of that was built with the help from uh, the CIA, this officer who helped start these programs while on CIA payroll. Our goal in this was to allow people to have a discussion about where, 10 years after 9-11, we should be putting the marker down between, you know, sort of security and liberty. And you can't have these discussions if, you know, if, if you don't know what's going on, if, uh, if, if it's just a black box where they say, trust us, we're keeping you safe, um, you know, we have a uh, 350-person intelligence division, a $60 million budget, um, we can't even tell you what the, the command structure looks like or the organizational chart looks like or where the money's going. It just shows the transformation from a police department that goes out and solves crimes to one that is basically an an intelligence agency that tries to identify before what's going to happen before it happens. This is an important issue, so it would be surprising to me if editorial writers and pundits and, uh, and regular people uh, didn't have strong feelings about this one way or the other. Um, you know, some of your viewers probably have strong feelings. The New York Post editorial staff has strong feelings. That's what democracy is all about, right? And you, democracy needs information, and uh, and we uh, we we try to provide that information so people can make uh, informed decisions. So, not surprised that there are strong feelings. And uh, again, this wasn't a series we set out to do. So, whether it continues, I think it uh, it continues if if more information um, makes itself available, and uh, we'll go where the story leads.